This is Sam's Okay Trance, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now, in today's video, we are going to be comparing both of my post-war turbine engines. We will be taking the shells off, and we will be taking a closer look inside both of the 671 rerun edition turbine and the 2020 turbine. Both turbines were put out in different time periods, and so we're going to see a little bit of change in mechanics in both of these engines. So I just thought it would be a very interesting video to kind of compare what's going on in both of these engines, compare and contrast, and kind of see the difference. All right, so let's go ahead and get both of these engines on the track, and I'll take the shells off, and we'll go ahead and look at these engines a little bit closer. Let's go ahead and start with the tenders. This is the 2020 tender. This is the 6020 whistling tender. And then over here, this is the tender for the 671. This is the 2046 whistling tender model. Now looking at both of these assemblies, they are pretty much exactly the same. This one here is on its side. This one over here is on its back. So the way that these assemblies work, power is drawn from the track up into the motor here, which spins the fan inside of this box, which creates airflow, which comes out of right here and it creates that whistling sound that we all know and love. All right, so here's where things get interesting. This is the 2020 version. This is the 671 version. Now, this motor assembly over here is quite a bit different. So this little plug-in right here is actually the E unit, which changes the direction of where you want your engine to go. So you can move this over here to change the direction. There is no lever where the E unit is actually placed and located in the engine. It is controlled right here, just outside of the cab, which is pretty interesting. And I'm not sure how many other post-war engines have this type of system inside of it. Let me know in the comments if you guys know. But to my knowledge, this is the only engine that has this type of E unit assembly inside of it. And then the 671, we just have our standard motor assembly. There is no E unit switch or plug-in, I guess I could say, on the 671 motor. All right, we already talked about the back of the motor assembly here. Now let's kind of look at the front of the motor assembly. For the 2020 variation, the armature is straight out and there's another gear connecting the gear lower in the body of the engine to drive the wheels. On the 671 variation, the armature is actually slanted down and it directly makes contact with the gears down here to move the wheels. So a little bit of variation there. The 671 is kind of a modern and upgraded version, kind of eliminating extra parts and pieces that you don't really need. This is not slanted, this is straight out, and this armature is facing downwards. When we look at the E unit, here's the E unit here for this one. This is actually kind of on its side here. This one on the 671 is actually faced up. So if you were to take this and move it upwards like that, it would match this one here. Notice, like I said earlier, there is no lever here on this E unit. The E unit, again, is controlled in the back of the motor. You can plug in that little switch and it makes that switch for you for the direction. This one here, you just have your standard E unit um, with the switch right here. Nothing too fancy. Again, stuff that we kind of already know. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the 671. You just have your standard heated coil element in here. And as the train moves down the track, there is a lever at the bottom that pushes air up and creates airflow for the smoke to get out of the smoke unit. So the 2020 variation is Quite different actually you just have this entire enclosed assembly that is quite solid although the screw needs to be screwed in just a little bit there but this is actually a heated light bulb element so there is a light bulb inside that heats up it gets really warm and you cannot use smoke fluid you do have to use smoke pellets and I have some right here you can put those in and then it'll be heated by the light bulb now one thing about this smoke unit, there is no airflow upwards to help the smoke get out of the smoke unit, unlike the 671 rendition over here on the inner loop, which is quite interesting. The 2020 variation is quite unique and I'm really honored and grateful to have it in my collection. The 2020 turbine kind of stands out from all the other renditions Lionel put out in later years. This was the first variation of the turbine to come out and this is in excellent condition. 
All right, that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my videos, and I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. Enjoy running some trains and hanging out with family, and I will see all of my lovely viewers in my next video. Take care, everybody.